Low Black is 70% owned by British International Investment, the Development Finance Institution of the United Kingdom Government, and 30% owned by Norfund, a Development Finance Institution of Norway. The battery energy project, named the Red Sands Project, will be located near Appington in the Northern Cape. It's estimated that the project will cost about 5.7 billion rand and should become operational in 2026. The British High Commission in South Africa says battery storage is an enabler of renewable energy generation and key to resolving the energy crisis and tackling climate change. What we are doing is working in partnership with the South African government to deliver its ambitions for a just energy transition, of which the renewable piece, the battery piece, is, is fundamentally uh, important. The key issue, though, is it needs to be just. Uh, it needs to make sure that it is creating opportunities, especially in the parts of uh, the country where uh, jobs are, will be fewer in things like the traditional coal sectors. And we are very, very conscious and focused on that, again, through our dialogue with the South African government. Um, and it also will not happen overnight. Uh, it is a transition. We're not flipping a switch. So I think if we get the investment uh, pipelines right, not just through the JETP, but the other investors, the other countries, the other uh, the private sector, the philanthropic sector, then we will be able to deal with the immediate challenges of the energy security crisis at the same time as delivering that medium to long term transition. Philipson says the just energy transition also presents an opportunity to build skills needed for the future. The key thing is it needs to be forward facing, it needs to be uh, forward looking in terms of what are the skills that South Africa will need. And I think if you look at, again, some of the strategies that the government has produced around Operation Rulin Leila or some of the broader economic and education reforms, that's exactly what they're doing. And we are very, very keen to work in partnership with them on doing that. In terms of this project, I think I would suggest that uh, if South Africa can show that it has the ambition to be uh, a leader, not only in Africa, but maybe even around the world in terms of transitioning to a renewable-based economy uh, with all of the different functions of a renewable energy sector, including battery storage. But it, it will create, I think, the platform on top of which people can build with future investment. The High Commissioner says the electricity storage is going to be key in helping South Africa meet its industrial and domestic demand for energy. Gloria Safagomusi, SABC News, Johannesburg.